This is my fake Google Play website, which can be used to redeem fake Google Play gift cards. The problem with it is, first of all, the URL isn't play.google.com, so that's a dead giveaway. Second of all, the movies in the background don't have any posters, and some of their names and prices are from another country. That's because I was using a VPN when I made this. And finally, the only thing you can do on this website is redeem gift cards. You can't look at your subscriptions, payment methods, account, or anything else that you are able to do on the real website. On this website, you can download my Scambit and Chrome extension, which has the rigged Google Play in it. The link is in the description, by the way. Click this. Click download. And save the document. Once you've downloaded it, you have to extract the zip file. And go back to Google Chrome. Go to Chrome extensions. Make sure developer mode is on and click load unpacked find your folder and make sure it says no items match for your search select folder and you see this open up silk utilities 4.2.0 so the extension is called silk utility just so it's a disguise if it were called something like scambit and chrome extension it would be pretty obvious you can actually change the name, picture, and description if you want. Now you want to go back to the Chrome extension files and find where it says manifest.json and make sure to open it with notepad or any text editing software. Here you can see it says name, silk utilities. You can change that to anything you want. For example, Grammarly. To the description, you can write anything you want. And make sure to save the file with control S. Close. Go back to Google Chrome, refresh, and it should have the new name and description. But the picture is a little bit more complicated. First, you want to go to Google, and you're going to notice the ads there. That's because the Chrome extension is on. You might want to open it and turn all those off first. I'll show you what they do in a bit. And just look up an image like you regularly would. And download it. When you do, make sure to rename it icon.png and put it in the same folder as the other scan baiting extension files. Replace. And when you go back, refreshing it should give it the new logo. Now that we have it all customized and set up, what can we actually do with the extension? Well, it has four main features, three of which can be turned on and off. The first one is annoying ads. Whenever this one is on, there is a chance that you will see an ad on a website. Clicking, these are real ads and clicking on them support me so you can support me and annoy scammers at the same time now the next feature is a rigged google search with this google searches will redirect to either the seventh page on bing the ninth on yahoo or a google 404 error page for example right here it redirected to bing Here it redirected to a 404 page, and here it's a 404 page again. Now, the next feature is the rigged Google Play, which is what I talked about at the beginning. When you turn this on, you can go to play.google.com and redeem some gift cards. So when you're redeeming gift cards, these are the things you want to make sure. First off, 
you want your code to be 16 digits. Some of them have to be numbers, some of them have to be letters. The gift card amount that you redeem will be equal to the numbers found in the gift card code. So for example, This has 5, 0, and 0, which make up 500. When you redeem, it will redeem $500. Now, because of iframe issues and other nerdy things that I won't get into, I wasn't able to make it refresh whenever you click the OK button, so you're going to have to do that manually. Now, when you go to your payment method, now here it says $500 balance. Note that you have to be signed in to a Google account to be able to look at the payment methods. Scammers will sometimes look at the payment methods to check if the gift cards were actually redeemed or not. Now, the last feature is fake purchases. You can essentially fake a purchase on any website by clicking Alt S and it says order placed so what you would do is hover and as you click type alt s that way it looks sort of like you bought something that's all I have in the extension for now but if you have any recommendations of what I should do next please let me know in the comments